get you transformed. So you just want me to pull the arms up and invert them, huh? Okay then. Guess you really want to get rid of that purple on your on the side of your arms, huh? Okay then. And then fold the hands away. Or the fists away. Hasbro, how do I get those fists out of there? Okay, it's not impossible, but uh Okay. Okay, yeah, so you want, you're, you're going to have to work at getting those fists out of there a little bit, because there's a tab right where you want to stick your finger. So it's, it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get his, to get his fists out again. So. Gee, it's almost like I did this with Rotor Storm the other day. Was that last week when I posted that? Actually, no, I published... Uh, when did I publish Rotor Storm? A couple days ago? So they don't peg into place, they just kind of tab lightly in one. Alright. <clears throat> oh yeah, there was one thing I wanted to point out. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna extend the hand, but look how tiny his arms are compared to the rest of him. Sheesh. I suppose that's acceptable on some level, so. And yep, here's those shoulder joints I was telling you about. It was transformation shoulder joints. Here's up there. Oh, there's gonna. I wonder if there's gonna be visible head syndrome here. Uh, no, no. Looks like uh, looks like you'll be okay there. Yeah, I knew there was something about it. It's just it flips open. How do we get these? That's out. Okay, so there's a tab on either side, real tiny. Real tiny tab on either side of his. the whole thing up. Okay. Oh, and there's the shuttle mode tail. Huh. Oh, I get it, and then those tab into there. Hmm. Clever. Huh. Cool. All right. You know, it didn't even occur to me that I should have tried to do this without the instructions, but just the way the arms fold up, I don't I don't think I would have been able to anticipate that, so... Whatever. I definitely needed the instructions for the tender mode and the, all the things it's going to be doing, so... Even though it's just a, you know, it's a box that folds open, like, the different ways that it's used. Yeah, I would need the instructions for that. Okay. Hasbro, step line, step nine, you didn't need to highlight. You're, you didn't need to do a close-up of, of doing that. You, you, you didn't you didn't need to do a close-up there. Whatever. Oh, it's funny. You fold up his skirt, and then it slots into his abdomen. <laughs> It's so unnecessary, but like, okay, whatever. <laughs> and by the way, I think it goes without saying the transformation process is entirely different from SG-1 self. It's entirely different. Don't even try to compare them. Like, yeah, things might end up in roughly the same place, except for the arms. But that being said, and, 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 and the tail also, the tail is completely different. Oh, yeah, I forgot to point out his torso is entirely different. He doesn't have the tuxedo bow tie thingy anymore, so... Mm. But wow, I would not have anticipated the way that those arms fold up like that. A little busy back here. But, uh, hmm. Okay, there's some hollow bits up here, which kind of kind of ruins it. But, like, considering the amount of techie detail that's happening everywhere else, I guess I could forgive the hollow bits. Okay, and I'm guessing we move on to the legs now. Yep. There's a little peg on the outside of each foot that you peg into the side or the inner side of the ankle and that's what holds it in place. So if you want to get some foot articulation in, you got to unpeg that. But that's strictly for transformation. It's not actually an articulation. You know, it's it's weird. I, I should have commented on this earlier, but I wasn't thinking or I was, I was distracted. Uh, he does have um, some of that siege paint you know, it's like scuff marks or whatever it is, or battle damage, or whatever it is. Yeah, he's he's got a he's got a bit of it. I, you're probably not going to see it just because my crappy camera, but he actually does have some streak marks or battle damage here, and also along the front of each foot. So he doesn't he doesn't really have it anywhere else. It's not on his wings. 
on either side of his wings, I should point out, but it's definitely on the bottom of his feet, so it's kind of a half-hearted leftover that, that Siege decided to carry over into Earthrise, but for whatever reason, they decided to carry that over as well. I, th I think I could have done without it, but like I'm, I'm not complaining at this point. There. So that just unpegs and folds all the way down. You cannot tell me those are not there for some reason. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you don't, you don't peg those. Okay, so you, you just, you just unhinge these first, then you peg the nose together, and then you, you flip everything else together. Okay, so just unpeg it. Just unpeg it. Wow, it works so easily on the right leg. I don't know why the left leg's fighting me all of a sudden. There we go. Okay, so first you unhinge those, then you... See, is there wheels under here? <laughs> there's... there's <laughs> the smokestack for the train mode splits in half, and then it folds down into the nose. Nice! Oh, oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, I'm I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that now. I love it. The train nose and the shuttle nose are Wait, does that move? No. Uh they 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 literally pivot it where the ankle would be. So one just literally flips 180 degrees and you get the other. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's just like the G1 version. Of course, lining them up becomes an absolute Bitch, I should point out. Oh god, how many? Whoa! Before I do that, whoa! How many? I see one. I see two pins. Okay. And that one's there, and that one's there. Okay. The disadvantage, though, is that not only do you have to pin them into place, but you've got a whole bunch of extra rota transformation rotate rotating transformation joints sitting right there, which because to make lining them up is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Ah, and then I have the knee joints right there that are compounding the issue. Uh, okay, you want me to flip up the train wheels? Oh, which have a deliberate tilt to them. I didn't know that. <laughs> so the, the train wheels, they have just the... The ordinarily in robot mode, they're like this, and then for for the 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 two vehicle modes, that's it. That's all the difference is. And then there's a pair of holes right there, and there's a single peg right there. That's funny. So you pull it out just to turn around and put it right back in. <laughs> I wonder why they didn't just do a ratchet. Oh, because you have to have that flip over. That's why. Okay. I was like, why don't they have a ratcheting joint? Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> I just looked at the last step for the instructions. Take all the guns and put them on the back in order to bulk it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, it's not the most... Ooh. Oh, I have to peg... Okay. Uh, note to self. Before you peg the rocket engines into place, make certain that the tail is settled between the... Uh, I guess those are the elbows, yeah. Make certain it's settled between the elbows before you do that. Um, somehow. <laughs> it was stable until I realized that, and then when I try to actually accomplish that, it doesn't, it suddenly doesn't work. Um, hmm. Did I not? <gasps> there it goes. Well, yeah. I knew it was pegged in like that. I just wasn't anticipating it would. So yeah, the tail is the tail is designed to pop off if my pressure is applied. That's a, that's actually a good thing. I kind of wish the tail was a little larger than it ended up being, but whatever. Good luck trying to get it back in. Well, it was stable until I realized I have to peg the tail into place. So I'm having to kind of redo something here. Ow, there's a tab right there. Why you do this? Well, it was going swimmingly until I decided to mess around with the tail. <sighs> That's not the kind of click I want to hear. 
You know, I might have to make a compromise of some kind here. Like, either the tail fits properly in place or the engines don't fit properly in place. There we go. Okay, I got it. Okay, so I got the tail secured. Okay, so the... Um, it's been a couple of... It's been like three or four minutes right now. So it looks like uh, assembling the... Like, it's clever the way it's done, but, like, actually executing it is the hard part because the tail is a little on the small side, and, like, you have to get the arms just right, you know, locked in a locked in position and pegged in the perfect place for everything to work together so it's 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 a little more of a, a precision type of transformation for the for the arms and the tail and the rocket engines to be able to fit all the or the rocket nozzles I guess to have all that fit together it has to be perfect it has to be perfectly lined up or else it's not going to work so be aware that is a problem and now I gotta fix the front because it did become a little unpegged now comes the fun part. I just feel like this could be turned into some, into some like battle station or something like that. I feel like that that should be an option. Where you just have guns sticking out of it all over the place. But there are some pegs there. I might be able to take advantage. I'll have to, I'll have to play around with it a little later. I don't think there's any official battle station mode with just the tender. I get to fight this missile launcher again. I don't want to fight missile launchers. I like missile launchers. Especially homing missile launchers. Just saying. Boy, it's really difficult. The only, the only saving grace, I suppose, is because the, the missile launcher has a peg on the side. That's kind of the only thing. So I'd like get my thumb under there and lift up using my thumbnail and then wiggle it side to side until it came out. I don't like that. No. And I think this. Oh yeah, this get, this this actually gets used uh, in in the, the on the on the other page. It gets used. Okay. The two guns on the top actually peg into the underside of the front skirts because the front skirts get the the front skirt gets flipped up 180 or the 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 hip the hip panels get flipped up 180 degrees and then underneath those panels are little peg holes, and so that's what these that's what these are pegging into. Which is a good use of space, but the holes do also don't go all the way through, so you just have to, you just have to kind of live with it. The, the guns with the pegs on the outside of them, you want the pegs to the outside. Not sure. Oh, there are Decepticon logos on the top of his wings. Okay. So where's the missile pod go? Missile pod just kind of randomly pegs in on the side here. That's disappointing. I was kind of hoping it would sit in the middle somewhere. And then here we have, after almost 20 minutes of effort, Astro Train in his shuttle mode, or his Astro mode. Loaded to the gills with guns, once again, and, and random ass missile pod on the one side. I wonder if I could stick it. Oh, you can. There's a mounting point underneath, which is totally hidden from view, where you can, in fact, get the missile launcher to point the correct direction. Yes. Yes, there's a second one. Okay, so there's a couple places you can places you can peg it in. Carefully on the underside, you can put it under the engines, facing the correct direction. And there's another one a little further forward, which will do nicely. But alas, you're going to lose access to the landing gear, of which it has none, by the way. Uh, you're going to lose access to that. You can put the missile pod right there, just in front. Here's the front of his feet. Here's the missile pod. There, so you, that, that's a, a different place you can put it. But anyways, <clears throat> stick it on the side there, dude. Yeah, I dare say this is now the the the, the problem with it. Actually, maybe I should take the guns off. But the problem with it is the backside looks a little thin, and the front side is like legit, like bulky because it's like here's his legs, and here's the rest of him. And it gets kind of thin. I really should take these guns off. Gosh, if only this was molded in black and white. I'm an American. I believe that our space shuttles should be white and black. They should not be purple and, and gray. That's what they look like when they when they finish re-entry. That's not what they look like when they launch. Anyways, removing the arsenal of freedom. Um, actually, I guess it would be... Uh, no, what am I talking about? This is This is... This is a Decepticon, so it'd be the Arsenal Tyranny. 
I guess. So anyways, yeah, he's very, very bulky up front, and then it gets really thin right at where the where the, the knee armor is. It gets real small right there. If you can kind of ignore... Because, the, like, the thing is, like, in order to get to the train mode, you just fold these up, and now, now it looks a little more solid. Oh, by the way, I think I just half figured out how it transforms. But anyways, um, the reason why the back half of the shuttle is thin is so that the shuttle wings can fold up and form the train mode. That's why it's a little disproportionate. And I'm not cert quite certain how it's coming across here. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of detailed and it's kind of hollow on the top here, you know, those hollow bits. But, um, yeah, for the most part, like, th 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 this works for me. I think the only thing that kind of ruins this is, like, why is this little stripe right here? I don't like it. <laughs> the, the nose of the shuttle has a has a um, what is it? has a has a has a mold line or has a panel line right here. It kind of makes it look like a mouth. And so the nose of the shuttle looks like a dog. Looks like a dog's face, kind of. God, I wish my camera was better than this, but. It's just it's not it's not shaped correctly for a shuttle for a space shuttle, but that said, it kind of looks like a dog. So, mm -hmm. and silver painted windows, which mm -hmm. silver painted uh, rocket engines on the back or rocket nozzles. Do these fold down? I don't think so. Nope. Do not fold the wings down. Just don't. Yeah, it's not as smooth as a shuttle could be, I suppose. You're just going to have to live with it, so... Mm. Well, on the other hand, G1 Astro Train had exactly the same problem, because the, the, the front half was a lot... The, the shuttle mode, specifically, was a lot bulkier in the front than it was in the back, and it's specifically because of these panels here that you have to flip over, so... This this kind of does the, does the same thing, but, you know... Credit to modern day Hasbro for actually pulling this off and actually being able to re-engineer it. So, like, it transforms in a completely different way, but everything kind of ends up in the same place. So, like, you know, kudos to Hasbro. This, like, yeah, I would even say more so than classics. This pulls off the uh, the transformation, for, or th this pulls off the the spirit of G1 Astro Train with modern day engineering. This pulls it off far, far better than I think the classics version did. Because the classics version had kibble sticking in really weird spots, which like I said earlier, kind of the um the uh, uh the, 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 the the train modes nose covered up the wings significantly. And like okay that looks kinda nice. Oh they're they're like extra booster engines. <laughs> But, uh, like, in terms of, like, recreating the appearance and function of G1, I think this one pulls it off a lot better than Classics did. Classics is like, let's have a modern-day, you know, fantasy space shuttle or whatever it is, and then we'll have a modern-day bullet train as opposed to a steam train. And this one just doesn't give a fuck. It's like, let's just recreate G1 except at leader scale. Or old-school Voyager scale. And then, and then let's, let's cover him in guns. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of hoping that they do a black and white version of this and call it a special edition or something like that. Like, you know, I, I would not be opposed to this. And in terms of rolling around, uh, I, I don't see how. I, I do not see how the... Because, uh, um, like, he's got wheels here. He's got two wheels because of the train mode. He's got two wheels here. But I'm looking at the back side. He's got more train wheels, but they're under the wings, and they're turned sideways underneath the wings. Well, actually, they're turned sideways. So those wheels don't even function. So, like, I'm looking now for other wheels. There's a pair of tabs for transformation, and that's it. So technically, there's no landing gear, and no, it cannot roll, even though it's got two wheels in front. No, it cannot roll. So it's just going to have to sit there and just call it good. Oh god, the numbers of the files are reversed. That that was not me. I had nothing to do with that. I did not touch nothing. I touched no keyboard, no nothing. 
God, I hope I don't. I, I hope I didn't lose those files because like somehow they got the the numbers out of wrong. Like what I just now did is capture number two, but previously it, it was capture number three. So it went, it went capture, it went capture zero, capture, capture one, capture three, capture two. I'm suddenly in panic mode. Oh boy. All right. So, anyways, flipping over the instructions. Let's deal with the alternate mode. Or, um, no, not the alternate mode, with the, the other things you can do. Okay, so, we've got this, and you just turn these like this. Do these peg into place? Do these peg into place? I guess you're just supposed to trust that it works. Okay, whatever. Okay, so here's the, here's the crawler crawler transporter mode that's what this is supposed to be shrug and then does it just sit on there yeah I think it just sits on there um, does it peg in anywhere not really so I guess it just sits on here just sits loosely A for effort, but um, nothing begs in anywhere. And it, it doesn't say to peg in anywhere. It doesn't. It doesn't highlight any pegs or anything. It's like, okay, this might be the disappointing mode. There's there's your crawler transport vehicle, and it it's, it's it just sits on the top. It does not. It doesn't peg in anyway. There's nothing that lines up that I can tell. There's nothing. Uh, no. 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 It has wheels on the bottom, but they're absolutely useless because the the the, the, the crawler transfer mode it doesn't lay flat. You can see here, like if this is resting flat, look how it angles upwards. Yeah, see, it's not. So, no. Okay. Craw crawler transport mode. Fail. Like, nice idea, but fail. It didn't work. Okay, so anyways, you take this off. You restore these back to where they were. That's By the way, that's the only time you use those, I think. That's the only time you use that joint is, again, to tr transporter mode. <sighs> Sad face. Okay. As you turn those wide... You flip this down, and you know, oh god, here comes this thing again. It's this, these, um, these rotating pegs here for the, uh, for, for the, the, the thing. Oh boy, I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna like this. I'm scared. No! There's a recommendation here for two, um, they're not weaponizers. This is those mini cons or Titan Masters or whatever. They're, no, they're not Titan Masters. I don't remember what to call it. It's those Minicon, Micromasters, whatever. So anyways, the recommendation is for Bomb Shark and Decepticon Growl. By the way, not Decepticon Bomb Shark, but just simply Bomb Shark. And then definitely Decepticon Growl, which are two tanks. So, um, here's the other mode. Here's the, uh, the, 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 the gantry mode or the, the launch pad mode. And this is what you use to interact with the other city forms, or whatever it is. Of which, coincidentally, I have one, by the way. Uh, let's get you off of here. Now, I'm told, according to the wiki, that there's something here that, it, at this stage, there's something that doesn't go right. So I have Autobot Auto Works, or I'm sorry, Iron Works, I'm sorry. And apparently he can... Okay, well, there, there was some kind of problem where you can't get these things to interact properly. Maybe I should look up the wiki, or look up the, the, the page on the wiki again, because so far all of these are lining up properly. Yeah. That's weird. This, like, like it said that there was... You know, I'm going to pull up the wiki. Give me a second here. Siege Astro Train is a heavily cartoon-inspired figure that transforms from robot to either a space shuttle or a steam locomotive, not a modern locomotive like every of his toys since the original. Despite being released in the Siege lane, his alternate modes are clearly styled after Earth vehicles. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, because Siege Mode, they, they were using nothing but Cybertronian modes. Okay, whatever. Um, this, together with his air lock system compatibility, makes it seem like he was a lot... Makes it seem a lot like he was designed with Earthrise in mind, and indeed his toy later received a straight re-release in that line, which is what this is. Um, he features the trademark Siege battle damage. See, I want to see the part where it talks about as with other leader class figures in the line. Astrotrain himself is roughly Voyager size, with his accessories accounting for the rest of the price point. Okay. In addition to five combat system weapons, including one based on his original Toys Blaster, which is the huge combined thing, which can be combined to form the Omniforce Orbital Cannon. Love it! That's what the big cannon's called. Okay, so it looks like one of these is fashioned after his G1, G1 cannon. Oh, I'm not certain which one. Might be this one. I think this is the one that it was inspired by. Um... Where did I see that? The tender converted was sort of a small launch pad base designed as a treaded crawler vehicle with two cabs. Oh shit, I see it. Okay. So the the, the front of the of the the daft the front of the daft crawler transport mode. There are two different cabins here. I don't believe it for a second, but they're molded and they're molded differently. So technically, it's two different ca control cabins right there. Ugh. Okay. So, anyways, uh, mm, 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 mm. for a shuttle mode, the launch pad features a pair of airlock system connectors, but unfortunately, doesn't seem to be able to unfold as flat as designed. Okay. So that's an engineering flaw. Okay. Uh, that is an engineering flaw. There's a pair of black, black molded, but I'm going to point to where they are. But there's a pair of tabs right here. You should be able to sand those down, and it might get that to rest a little flatter or a little more evenly. Um, but that's for this, the, the large black colored panel. So this one has, has some tabs you can shave down. So that will help. But in terms of the other one, which, yeah, very much is resisting, um... I don't really have any recommendations. There's some kind of sort of raised surfaces, but I would be concerned about compromising structural stability. Like if you shave it down too much, then the plastic will 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 start uh, wearing out a lot sooner. So uh, I don't know if you can do anything about that. So the black panel, yeah, you can you can shave off those two tabs right there. Those they might have put them there deliberately to, uh, um, um, uh, what am I thinking? They might have put them there deliberately so you don't overextend it. I think that's what they are. They're overextension tab, overextension prevention tabs. My word for it. Uh, I think that's what those are for. But I think that they it might have been a case of like it's better that it's overcompensating rather than undercompensating. You know, I guess I guess that's kind of the scenario here. So, okay. It can also turn into a weapons rack, which can be mounted on Astrotrain's back in robot mode. Oh, I didn't even think about trying that. All right. With a pair of foot pads for extra stability since the backpack makes Astrotrain incredibly back heavy. Yeah, yeah, and that's something that I notice is... Yeah, it absolutely needs that. If you're going to attach this thing as a backpack, you absolutely need... Ah! You absolutely need these attached to the bottom of the feet. So that's actually a good thing. I'm glad they did that. I'm glad they did that. The toy's colorization with mostly gray wings rather than the purple on his final mode is based on an incorrect fan coloring of his character model that takes its colors from screen captures of the cartoon and also features a cartoon screen captured head. This model regularly makes its rounds on the web due to it being readily available on Pinterest, which I don't use. Or I'm not I'm not subscribed, and is also likely the reason for the gray plastic having a slightly brown tint to it. I'm looking at the the picture, but okay. 
As it happens, a lot of the detail found on this model are also non-existent on his final cartoon model, but are present on an older model used in an episode, Triple Takeover, such as the triangles on his horns, a more accurately colored model that was recreated using production materials and color charts can be found here. Hmm. Okay, so that's the description for the Siege version. Now I'm going to look at what the description... AstroTrain's airlock system compatible base connectors got him re-released in the Earthrise line with no changes save for his packaging being updated, which is what I told you at the beginning of this video. Even the flawed hinge in the coal tender was retained without any... Oh, preventing it from properly assuming launch... Okay, okay, so... Okay, my mistake. Okay, so now I'm reading it. I, so, like, I glanced at that line earlier. Oh, yeah, there's a problem with it, but I didn't I didn't read it. I didn't know until just now. Okay, so what they were talking about in the Earthrise description on tfwiki.net, great site, by the way, is what they're talking about is this, this thing where it doesn't fold flat properly. That's what they're talking about. I thought, I assumed the airlock problem was it's incompatible with uh, connecting to any of the uh, any of the siege figures. I thought that's what they were talking about. My mistake. Maybe I should totally edit out that whole thing so you never know that I made a reference to it. I think it's safe for me to close the wiki now. Okay, so yeah, it is designed to hook up to Ironworks. Work with me. Yeah, I know you're an Autobot and he's a Decepticon. Shut your face. So there you go. So it is designed to, it is fully compatible. So this this is kind of a, uh, a crossbreed set. It's designed to be both an Earthrise and a, uh, a Siege figure at the same time. So, okay. And that's the last time the internet saw, saw me uh, holding you in, in my hands. Bleh. Uh, have I wasted enough time on this video yet? Yeah, this is... Uh, Actually, you know what? Maybe I should do it this way instead. <clears throat> so, you can see here, if I push on one side, I know, shaky camera, shut up. <sighs> Alt still, I have a, damn it. Okay, that helps. So if I push on one side, the other side lifts up. That's, that's the engineering problem. So that's that's the problem right there. That's that's what they're addressing in the wiki, and they're saying, yeah, that's that's a design flaw, or it's not a design flaw. It's a, it's a manufacturing error. So, but yeah, for the most part, this 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 works pretty well for the most part. It's just that that the one thing's a bit of a problem. You know, I think it might be easy enough for me to transform this. Oh, maybe not. I was just gonna say, I think it's safe enough for me to put the instructions away. I glanced ahead, and there's a thing I totally didn't know about. I'm like, okay, maybe I should just leave the, leave the instructions where they are. All right, time to get him into train mode.